and welcome to another system control Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a non-moving car look like it's moving. So the first step we need to do is open up our car on the Adobe Photoshop canvas. Once it's up we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool which is located up here. And once you have it selected you're going to go ahead and select the rim itself, so the whole rim. If you go over just a little bit, depending on your car style, obviously, um, you should be fine. So let's say that there was some chrome outlining on the fender, something like that. If you went over like I just did, it might be an issue. So to get more exact, you would have to use uh, your pen tool or your elastol tool to actually select the area in which you want the change to be made. So once you have it selected, we're going to go up to filter and then we're going to go up to blur and then we're going to go to radial blur. So then we're going to change our settings. So we have our settings, we have our amount at 78 right now. We're going to go down to 45. We're going to keep our blur method at spin or make sure this is selected and we'll keep our quality at good. Then we'll just press OK and as you see just the rim itself is being contorted into looking like it's spinning. So we're going to go ahead and deselect Control D on your keyboard or select deselect. Okay, so we're going to repeat this process for the back rim as well. So we'll go ahead and start. And once you have it selected, you're going to do the same process. You're going to go up to filter, blur, radial blur. Make sure these this the mount is at 45 or whatever your preference is. And method blur or the blur method is at spin and you have your quality and good, press OK and Control D or of course select, deselect the top. Okay, so now that the rims look like it's moving, you could add other effects like smoke or stuff like that. Um, maybe a little bit of a tire mark on the ground. Uh, maybe we'll do this in another tutorial. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to make rims look like it's moving when they're really not. Uh, using Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and rate this video. I appreciate it. SystemControl.com, out.